What's up? Welcome back to Nostalgia. Dave here with a review of Rustin, the new biopic, historical biopic film from George C. Wolfe starring Coleman Domingo about Bayard Rustin, one of the leading but perhaps under-remarked upon historical figures regarding the civil rights movement in the United States in the 50s and 60s. And yeah, this is a film that has got a lot of buzz coming into it regarding Coleman Domingo's central performance as Rustin. And that is by far the highlight of the movie. That is the reason you should want to watch this movie um, because there's a lot of other things about it that don't really rise above the standard by the numbers historical biopic fare. So overall, I would recommend it for Domingo's performance as well as just an insight into a historical figure that people certainly do not know about to the way, of course, they know about someone like Martin Luther King Jr., obviously. So I'm happy that it's there to shed a light on someone who deserves more attention than, than they've previously got. But overall, I think the movie is pretty staid, pretty basic overall. And Domingo's performance, it would have been awesome if it was just in a better movie, to be honest. Uh, there's been some Oscars attention regarding his performance. I'm curious if the rest of the movies, the rest of the movie, and it's just kind of plainness, will kind of hold uh, Domingo back from getting nominated for Best Actor in the end. We'll see. Time will tell about that. But yeah, I mean, I think part of the reason Rustin doesn't really rise above a compelling central performance is that it's directed by George C. Wolf. George C. Wolf has directed for Netflix before, look no further than Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And George C. Wolf has a theater background. And his movies largely are uninspired visually. They just are kind of flat and static. And that comes across, once again, with Rustin, unfortunately. He just doesn't really add a whole lot to movies as a director. He's great with talent. Look at the Domingo performance. Look at Viola Davis and Chowie Bozeman in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. He's good with talent. But ultimately, his movies feel uh, kind of stuck in the mud at times. And I think also the script of Rustin, a lot of expository dialogue, a lot of kind of basic presentations of things. You know, Rustin, a gay man who faced a lot of prejudice from within the civil rights movement due to his uh, who he was and who he, who he had been affiliated with as a previous communist. And like there, he had a lot of opposition to people that ostensibly were on his side and fighting for the same goals as him. I think that was interesting, but this the script is presented in, I think, a pretty basic way, to be honest. Also, I was kind of taken aback that, you know, Bayard Rustin, who gets all this credit for being an incredible organizer and really helping push the March on Washington into existence, the actual March on Washington and the I Have a Dream speech from Dr. King all of that's kind of yada yada, kind of rushed through to the finish line, um, almost montage at times. You would think that, you know, this Domingo performance as Rustin, really good at espousing the ideals of this man who was so selfless and dedicated in his pursuit of civil rights and uh, achieving equality for his people, you know, having experienced tons of prejudice in his life, of course. Um, you would think that the movie would at least let you like sit there and take in some of the triumph that was that moment, that day, and that speech. And the movie doesn't doesn't really focus on that. It's a kind of an odd choice, you know. And I don't know. It just I just think th there was a better movie in this. This movie was produced by Higher Ground, the Obama's production company, and overall they have a pretty solid track record with stuff, primarily on the documentary front, but. I don't know, this felt just a little a little lacking to me. Overall, I, I enjoyed it because I didn't know too much about uh, Rustin the Man overall. So in a sense, it's good that the movie is out there to tell people more about him. I know there's a documentary from like 20 years ago about him as well. He, of course, was awarded the Presidential Me uh, Medal of Freedom posthumously. Um, and you get Jeffrey Wright as an antagonist figure in the civil rights movement. He played a representative uh, Adam Powell. And you also have Chris Rock as Roy Wilkins, the head of the NAACP. And then as a more ally of Rustin, you have Glenn Turman, who was also in Ma Rainey's. And I think Wright and Turman, always good. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing Jeffrey Wright in uh, Corey Jefferson's American Fiction later this year. A lot of awards buzz for him as well. Something tells me that Domingo and Wright are probably competing for the same Best Actress Actor nomination 
you know, um, unfortunately, it's probably how it's going to shake out. But Chris Rock, not the best piece of casting, you know. Um, we've seen him do series before, recently in Fargo season four. I'm just not the biggest fan of him in serious roles because I think he's just kind of one note. He can like plaus- plausibly do it. He doesn't have enough range. And uh, to me, that was kind of a uninspired piece of casting, uh, to be honest, as one of the antagonist figures. You have a- a- Amal Amin as MLK, ultimately a small role. I would like to see more of the relationship between MLK and Rustin portrayed. But yeah, I think ultimately it's 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 not that far off from Nyad on Netflix earlier this year. Another ostensible awards vehicle. That one, of course, starring uh, Annette Bening and also Jodie Foster. Another movie that you know is pretty down in the middle and straightforward and broadly effective at its basic goals, but really kind of uninspired filmmaking. And we'll see if the Oscars, you know, throw noms towards Bening and Domingo. We'll see. Because ultimately, these are not the the moves of the juice, all the juice for Netflix. I think, obviously, uh, Bradley Cooper's Maestro, which is coming out soon. That's going to lead the way, I think, in that regard. But let me know, how would you feel about Rustin? Uh, were you happy with how it turned out, or were you a bit let down by the uh, some of the faults outside of the central performance like I was? Let me know. And for more movie reviews, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.